Hey guys, Chris here. In this video, me and my three-year-old are going to take the Mercedes-Benz EQC 400 4Matic I have parked right behind me, right next to the Polestar 2, across the mountain from here in Oslo to Bergen. We're starting here at Mercedes-Benz in Lernskog, right outside of Oslo. We're gonna cross the mountain to Bergen. The highest elevation should be around 12 or 1300 meters. And then we're crossing over to the west coast. The trip should be 476 kilometers. And if we are very lucky, if we have the wind on our side, the temperature and the weather, we may just be able to do this without even charging. But yeah, I highly doubt it, but that's what we're gonna try. And we will well find out along the way if we will be able to do it or not because 476 kilometers is more than the WLTP range of this Mercedes-Benz EQC but here in Oslo it is about 22 23 degrees Celsius but in Bergen the temperature is going to be a bit lower and yeah we may you know encounter rain and bad weather so that's going to be today's trip it's going to be a little bit of a vlog style but yeah so my daughter's in the car now and trucks are passing here and yeah trying to film this intro and I've done this like 10 times now because there's so much noise here but yeah so I'm gonna hop in and then I will see you guys on the road we are now Oscar Mike and we've been on the road for about an hour but we're only 46 kilometers away from Oslo because we hit some traffic because of construction in Oslo and then they're constructing, you know, a new section of motorway from Oslo to Hønefoss. So we hit some construction there, but we have finally cleared the city and yeah, the weather is pretty, pretty nice. And yeah, the temperature is 23 and a half degrees and we are at 88% state of charge. But the car is estimating only 300 kilometers of range left and our distance let's take it out here no that's wrong let's see our distance should be 427 kilometers and the car wants us to stop and charge for 12 minutes somewhere along the route so we're just gonna keep on going and yeah we are at an elevation now i have to say that we're climbing quite a bit out of oslo so that means the consumption is very very high now and yeah, so we're just gonna soldier on and then we're gonna meet up with you guys when we yeah, hit our first pit stop that we have planned in about one and a half hour because today is just a leisure trip. It's, we're not gonna stress, we're just gonna take it very calm. Okay, so we have now made it to Flo and we're gonna do our first pit stop here by the mall here in Flo. And yeah, the little one, she's fallen asleep. So <laughs> she's, yeah, out cold. But yeah, we're gonna do a pit stop over here. But yeah, the temperature has now dropped to 22 degrees Celsius. I don't know the elevation here because this car doesn't have an altimeter. Uh, consumption 18.3 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers is a bit higher than I was hoping. We have had some, you know, very light showers, but it is dry now and we are currently at 70% battery. And I think it's about 340 kilometers to go and we have 260 kilometers of range left. So yeah, I'm really not sure if we will be able to make it, but we won't really know before, you know, we hit the highest peak and we start, you know, moving down again towards sea level. So we you know generate we're going to generate a lot of electricity on on the way down and then yeah the roads on the other side should be quite nice but okay we're going to go to the pit stop which is the mcdonald's and yeah get ourselves some food we are now about halfway here in yailo and we're about to cross hardongivida which will you know be the mountain pass about 30 40 50 kilometers up here and yeah that means we will be hitting the peak elevation of about i think it's around 1200 meters if i'm not mistaken but yeah so the temperature has dropped considerably 14 and a half degrees uh, consumption also is uh, up a bit 21.0 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers we have covered 228 kilometers and we have been on the road for three hours and 56 minutes and also our average speed 58 
kilometers an hour. So yeah, it's not uh, not not very fast. And we are at 38 percent state of charge. So it will be interesting to see, you know, how much charge we generate when we get over the peak uh, up here. But I think we will maybe stop in Eidfjord to charge, or maybe we will even stop in, uh, hmm, maybe we will stop in Voss. But yeah, I think Eidfjord, about 89 kilometers from here. Uh, we have 130 kilometers of range left. Yeah, I think that will be uh, our stop to charge. Welcome to Hardangevida, guys. I think we are approaching our maximum elevation now you can see that yeah we are pretty much up in the clouds you can see that there is no vegetation at this elevation and there's a lot of snow it's about 11 degrees celsius here now and yeah we've been on road for four and a half hours and we are approaching 280 kilometers we now have 19 percent battery left so the question is when we start descending how much battery will we have when we get to the bottom and it's not far from here to Eidfjord so you know we will be descending quite rapidly because Eidfjord is well at the end of the fjord which is at sea level but yeah I think just around here is our highest elevation is there a, a sign here about the elevation no no signs but look at this it's basically it looks like a a different planet up here in the mountains it's pretty spectacular even though the weather isn't uh, isn't uh, too nice guys but yeah this is one one beautiful uh, one beautiful place to be driving almost 40 kilometers later guys and we are at 20 percent and we are now down at sea level and we're going to find the BKK charters right over here and it started to rain i think this is the 150 this one right here yes that should be a 150 those delta chargers and we have tesla superchargers here as well so yeah so we regained a lot of electricity on our way down the mountain on our descent and I think you can actually charge two cars at these at the same time. Okay, 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 okay. I think that's good. Okay, yeah. So 316 kilometers covered, 19.6 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers is now our consumption. And we are at 20% state of charge. Okay guys, so my daughter has fallen asleep again. So she's sound asleep inside the car that's why i'm filming outside but yeah this is just you know a brief stop the car says 13 minutes of charging but we really don't have you know a hurry we're only going to go to my my mother's place and we should be there at around 8 30 this evening i mean if we're there at 8 45 it really doesn't matter so i'm just going to charge so we have enough you know uh, juice to get there because she doesn't have a charger at her place my mother and yeah, so I don't have to, you know, stress tomorrow when I'm going out to, to do stuff to find a charger. But yeah, this is a pretty spectacular place, this here. Uh, look at the nature, the mountains around here, because we are in the inlet of this fjord called Eidfjord. So pretty, pretty nice place, even though, yeah, the weather isn't the best, but it's much milder than the temperatures we did have um, on top of the mountain. Here's like, I don't know, it feels like 15, 16, 17 degrees. It's not too bad, but it is humid because it is raining. And they have a whole bunch of chargers here, a whole bunch of superchargers for Teslas over here. And then we have all of these, you know, Delta chargers, which are split, so eight of them or seven. And then they have a 50 kilowatt charger over there. So, I mean, this is a pretty nice place to stop. And they have a store and I'm going to, yeah, go to the toilet there when I'm finished. But let's take a look at the charging speed. We are getting now at 20%. Yeah, so as you guys can see, I don't know why we're only getting around 50 kilowatts. That isn't, uh, that's not the best speed. Is it because there are chargers connected to all of these cars? It's the limit of this charging station. It might, may be, because you know, we've been driving for, I don't know, four, four and a half hours, almost five hours. 
we should be, you know, up to temperature because of the ambient temperature. So it's probably because, you know, there's three cars on this side and then there's three cars on this side charging. So it may just be the limit of, yeah, the charging station. So we're just going to go, I don't know how much charge we're going to go to. Maybe we will go to, I don't know, I'm not going to stress. Maybe we'll go to like 40%, 50% and then I'll catch up with you guys when we get to Bergen. Welcome to Bergen guys. We are now here at our destination and yeah, it is 821 and we have covered 468 kilometers, which is uh, almost 10 less than well Google Maps was saying, but of course this car probably under reports seven hours and 20 minutes and a consumption of 20.3 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers and 64 kilometers an hour, you know, average speed. But yeah, I mean, it, that really doesn't matter. This was kind of, you know, just a calm, a leisure trip. And I must say this EQC is a very, very nice car to travel a long trip with. Yeah, I really enjoyed the trip. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please drop me a thumbs up down below. And for more car content, as always, guys, please subscribe. See you guys later and goodbye. Cloudless skies in the